the most important thing to remember is reshade is fully generic. <laughs> no, re reshade is a... I use this in a hell of a lot, of, al almost every game I play. First thing is you'll want to download... You know, this was actually just updated today, March 1st, as I'm recording this. I actually hold on to... You know, I keep some of the older versions because... One thing, too, is that this does not work in, in every single game. Certain games, it just doesn't work. Some multiplayer games may block it. As is, you know, as any kind of modding tool, use it at your own risk. But I always hold some of the older versions just to give it a try. If a game doesn't work, I'll try one of the older versions, and that might work. So, once we have it downloaded... Double click on it. You're probably going to get this because Windows is like, whoa, what the hell is this thing? This is trying to change stuff on your system. But I just downloaded it from the source. I know that it's okay. And then you're greeted with this window. Let's get that out of there and get that out of there. Sometimes it's going to choose which style to inject. Other times you have to select it. And sometimes it's hit or miss. So we click install, you need the point to the exe of the game. So right click, properties, browse local files, space rangers exe. Now actually, before I even get into that, an easier way to figure that out, just if you're having trouble finding where that game, because sometimes depending on your system, the game runs a different exe. So launch the game, put it in a windowed mode. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, and then right-click on it in the taskbar, properties, and then that is telling you specifically where it is on your system. So I know I need to go to, in the Space Engineers folder, bin 64, and it is Space Engineers EXE. So yeah, select the EXE, open. Now like right here, it's not telling me, it's not giving me a choice. Sometimes it will give you that automatically, but I know because I just installed the prior version that this will work. So I'm going to want to override that. Overwrite that. And then you need to download the shaders. And from here you could unclick ones that you know you don't need. It can just increase the loading of it a little bit, but it's not a big deal to me. We'll keep them all in there. Succeeded. So then you could go in here and change a couple of stuff, but eh, we'll just keep this basic. You don't need to fuss with that right now. It's succeeded. You see that? We're good to go. Launch the game. And now pay attention to the top bar. That is telling you that reshade is working. And it's telling me push, press home to access. So that was important to see that because if I sometimes, like that was a change over previous builds. It used to be you would hit shit F, shift. F2, but now it's home. So let's uh, load up the game first, just so we can see we're in the game world. I'm going to press home. This is going to run you through the tutorial. And then here it's asking, like, hey, we should probably make our own preset here, which I always give it a specific you know, one specific to that game. Showing that we're using Space, space Engineer's Reshade. This is going to keep taking us through. Let's just, um... Go. I usually go with DPX. So we'll do that. Alright, continue. Finish. I'm just kind of getting through the... tutorial parts. So, okay. Over on the Settings tab, what I like to do is... Show FPS. So here, up here in the corner, now you can see. I actually use this, I use Reshade as my FPS counter. Because, as people who use Steam Controller know, you can't see Steam's FPS counter. And I'm inject, I'm changing stuff, like the visuals of the game anyways, using Reshade. So, it kind of makes, it's a no-brainer for me to use the FPS. So that's just for the interface. Now up here you can change the, uh, that's the overlay key to pull up this configuration window. I also usually put scroll lock as my toggle key. 
And then you want to make sure you click out of that box before you click some other button, because that'll modify that. So now I go home. Uh, so you can see the color change just with that DPX. So I'm going to push home, hide the interface. Let's close that. Scroll lock. It's off. It's on. It's just brightening it up. Levels. Which is too much. I take the black level. So you just so you can see what it's doing. It darkens the blacks. So I take that. I usually take that to like three or four. Up that. It's just enough to... Maybe more. Just to give it a little bit of a punch, but that when it's nighttime, that can um, really change the atmosphere. So, if you're tweaking it in a bright sunlight environment, you might notice <laughs> that you can't see anything when it's dark out. So I usually go DPX levels and then Luma or Adaptive Sharpen, just to sharpen things up a little bit. So that's before default. After I've tweaked and sharpened. Eh, makes colors more vibrant. You know, I don't I'm not really doing too much to totally change the game. I just like to sharpen it up and make them a little bit more vibrant. Ambient light is one that I've used before. Let's see how that changes. The ambient light, I usually go light dependent. Up these, up that. Now this is a little too much, but just to give you an idea of how, you know, it adds some lens flare. It, it makes things. It, I mean, that's where you kind of get into the argument where a lot of people will say that looks like shit, but actually it makes it look more realistic. Kind of softens edges with light, but then if you go. You know, just to show that it's not all the time. You know, it really is, like, dependent on where the light is. But I would probably, I mean, I would tweak that around quite a bit if I used it. And then after you're done completely playing around, you will want to click performance mode. Poopy, bland, blah. Sharp, shiny, sexy. <laughs> In a fully generic way. So yeah, that's uh... <laughs> I feel like that's new since the game launched. Floppy arm. Appreciate pretty darn cool. So, Alright, that's all I got. I will see you around.